first day we arrived here, we've been feeling your hospitality and your friendliness. We're so grateful for everything you've done to us. Uh, Actually, this year uh, we've been have a very good communication between our two countries and uh, very good cooperations. The first day when we arrived at Pakistan, we see a lot of Chinese mobile brands here, like Vivo, Huawei. You know, so it's like our brother. I think yes, uh, and I think in China there are also many fields you can make investment. Uh, in China, there's one thing nowadays: the electronic payment is booming. But uh, you know, in China, we go anywhere, we take a bus, we go to the restaurant, and we booking hotel. We don't need to take a cash. We just one mobile is enough. I think it it is make us our life more convenient. I think we should learn from each other. And one more thing, I hope you can go to China to to do research and make investment because in China you can go to any cities uh, to uh, do the research. Uh, and one, and here I felt your country is very un unique. Uh, there are so many uh, fancy things and uh, unique things here. Like uh, last night we visited one uh, customs store. Uh, I found your traditional customs are very very delicate. But in China uh, nowadays there is a strong need for uh, cultural diversity. I think your clothes or costumes and some accessories will be will be very welcome and booming in China, yes. So, uh, next, my friends and colleagues Serena and uh, Yoko will give some opinions about the tax and some other policy in China for you guys. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a very honor to be here to speak, and I'm glad to share my topic with you. And uh, first of all, uh, if you want to invest or do business in a country, the most important thing is tax. Yeah, and uh, I would like to talk about something about the chi Chinese tax policy. So, uh, because the time is limited, so I will talk about three parts of the tax. Uh, first one, the um, the most important law uh, for foreigner investment in China is the uh, regulation on the tax administration uh, of the representation of representative office of the foreign in, in enterprise. First one for the permanent representative office of the foreign enterprise and other organization in China shall be established with the registration, the administration department for industry and the commons or other, uh, with the uh, approval of the government related department. The second one, uh, a representative office shall be applied for the tax registration with the local content tax authority within 30 days after this restriction by represent the follow information. The first one, restriction and approve, approve documents. The second one, original and copy of the origin organization court certificate. The third one, the original and the photograph of the certificate of the register address, uh, uh, such as property rights certificate and the lease agreement. The fourth, the original and the photograph of the chief representative, password, or other legal identity documents. Uh, and the, five, the fifth, a uh, relevant in the resolution and documents on establishment of the representative office and for, of the foreign enterprise, um, such as including your company's name, address, contact, contact information. And uh, the, the, third, the third part is 
uh, if uh, the company shall set up the account book in according, accordance with the provision of really relevant to the law, keep account according to the legal and the effective version, conduct, uh, conduct accounting and report, and pay the enterprise income tax and business tax to compensate the tax of uh, department according the um, according to the fact invest in 15, 15 days uh, from the end of the quarter and that's all it's a very com conclusion about the tax if you want to uh, know about more tax policy um, after maybe if you guys come to China and then we will know about more about the Chinese uh, tax policy. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my honor to give a, uh, give a speech in there, and it's really nice to meet all of you. Uh, when we talk about do, doing business in China, uh, the first thing I will think of is the negative list. Uh, as we all know nowadays, China is trying to uh, reduce the, the number of the negative uh, items in the negative list. And China is trying to uh, create a more attractive uh, business environment for foreign investors. Uh, so uh, as I think, um, there are more trends and uh, there is a big market for foreigner investors to invest in China. Um, for example, yesterday, uh, our Pakistan friend Norman take us to go shopping in local market and I find uh, there are lots of things we can export to China. Chinese people will like local foods, local uh, traditional uh, clothes and uh, local traditional shoes, uh, especially made by hand, handmade. Uh, it's special and uh, it's attractive to Chinese people. So uh, in the future, I hope we can buy more and more uh, things in China that is made by Pakistan. Uh, like we can buy much things in Pakistan that is made uh, made by China. Yeah, thank you. That's all. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, this is our is an honor that the Chinese came on my invitation. I was one one month back. I was in China. Chinese government selected me. Um, you know, uh, Nine, uh, this, uh, from nine countries, they selected different participants. From each country, they selected three uh, for the CPAC and anti terrorism briefing and legal, legal training. On that uh, place, I meet these different uh, organizations, law and work, uh, yeah. law firms, many multiple, which are operating in China and operating in other different regions as well, like USA. Their law firm, WH law firm, operating in China as well in USA, UK, in 30 different countries. And uh, they are rolling back their business from USA as the trade wars are going on in uh, between China and USA. And this is a very good opportunity for us that the Chinese government, the government actually pushing the, uh, the industries or the investors to invest in Pakistan. First, we were importing or exporting some things, but right now they they are pushing them that you have you must have to uh, stop the import export, but and uh, try to develop the industries in the country, which can benefit uh, from which we all are beneficiaries. It's a win-win situation for all of us for Pakistan because we know our condition right now, what is happening in our country, our, econ our economy is uh, depriving every single day and uh, the China is actually, uh, they, they plan a situation, uh, create a situation in which they are welcoming their whole South Asian, ASEAN countries in this Cambodia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, except India, Cambo uh, Myanmar, 
nine other total nine countries, and they are investing heavily to become next year. Their, their target is to become the biggest economy next year. There is a 2020 target, yes, and they will achieve it despite many tensions, trade tension is going on and all over the world with China. And uh, this is a very good and uh, hopeful situation for Pakistan. So to visit and to get uh, more opportunities regarding it, to explore the opportunities. Because here we are just thinking that we just can buy or we can import from China. China have too many opportunities beside importing. We just think that we can just go there and import some stuff and come back with the, we can make the trading. But they are, they, they are good in e-commerce, they are good in banking system, they are good in properties investment, everything. It is booming, which I think. What do you think? <laughs> yes, you should. So, uh, the thing is this, that uh, we, are tr we have to explore the opportunities and then we will decide it if we are not uh, because I, I, I've heard many people are saying that we are becoming the colony like the British colony before becoming the Chinese colony but we are not we think like this but it's a wrong conception that we will become a Chinese colon colony China China itself a very big country so they, they, for them it's very difficult to control their own country then how they will how they are looking after us so I think stop negativity, think positively and move ahead and th sort out the opportunities in this tension, tense environment. From last year to China, uh, from in 2008, 17 to 18, their import and export and the business volume is around uh, $40 billion. But right now, within the last six months, or, uh, as the new government came, it's a, it's, uh, it will depreciate at around $2 billion right now. Uh, the business is stopped due to the tax system, due to the custom duties, and due to the non-reliability of our country and our business conditions. So they are also rolling back their investments because we are not interested anymore. We are not showing our interest in the business and uh, that's why they they think that we are not welcome welcoming there welcoming them honestly and uh, that's why they are rolling back so i think we have to give it a thing and then we have to act this before something before we will lost these opportunities thank you i was told that uh, uh, we are going to talk about the law the taxation, this young lady, our great visitor, and it is definitely very important that we must know the laws of the land. We really cannot make trade because uh, knowing law means doing less mistakes and avoiding our arbitration. So we must know each other like laws and I will take opportunity and request uh, the chair that uh, these laws may be made available to the chamber so these are printed in our magazine. I would ask you to please send an email of those uh, requirements which you have been talking to put up a company and then the legal laws. This will be a help, a help from the legal company to draw a uh, a map for the formation of companies on both sides. Definitely when they need, need us, we will be also providing our loss. I'm also very much pleased that uh, the young lady here told that uh, you have various items. She talked about the dress. So these are opportunities. We are importing thousands and thousands of items from China. And as I was uh, talking before, the meeting that we are buying a huge number of items from our friends China. It is about the time that we identify, it is about the time that we identify thousands of items which China is buying from other countries and those items must be purchased by China from Pakistan because we are friends. And since our friendship is known all over the world, this action 
of our welcome solid date, our friendship walk. This is also going to improve our trade and industry because, as they said, very clearly said, you are also very boldly pointed out that the transfer of uh, Chinese industry to Pakistan is again a big challenge and we must come forward and take the challenge. As a nation, we must complete our national duties. If we are going to sit like that, if we lost the chance with Japan and we lost the chance with Korea, when they went from SME to mega industry, we didn't take the chance at that time. It was our, our chance. Then again, we miss with the Korea. We don't want to miss with China because China really want to see us progressing. And it is our national duty, like uh, skill development has been talked about. So we must look into this opportunity comprehensively. Trade, industry, tourism, uh, Silk Road, water, and all these things are combined. And if we combine everything and fulfill our duties, no doubt that we will be a prosperous country. China is definitely going to merge a very large uh, economic power. They are going to tell America, thank you very much, of course, 2020. But we need to fulfill our responsibilities for the reason opportunity never comes again and again and again. If this gap is not filled up, who's going to fill the gap? If we are not going to put our HR in Balochistan, they will have to bring a few people from China to do their job. So therefore, it is again, it is not only national pride. I always said it is a great, great national responsibility for Pakistan to take full benefit from all those projects which have been offered to us by our friends. So this is uh, again a uh, uh, good chance and uh, um, improving our trade, both ways trade, we must have a list of these 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 young girls are our investors now in Pakistan. I, I, they are already in love with Pakistan. They can go and tell about Pakistan. This guy is a Pakistani ambassador. He can go and tell that there are so many good things in Pakistan, and we must come up to the expectations of our Chinese friends if they want. Garments, we must provide garments. Like hire. Hire is a big name in the world. But believe you me, if you go to Gujramala Gujarat, the kind of uh, uh, things that we are making, Pell, uh, and so many other brands, they are the best in the world. Everybody is using it. Every home in Pakistan is using Pell without a single complaint. And similarly, Faisal. Um, has also put up this plant of hire and it is doing very good. So we have to combine our strength and show to the world that we are one. This is about the best chance. This is about the best opportunity for all of us here in this room that we must promote China and Pakistan both ways so that Chinese are in the process of going all over the world. That doesn't mean that they want to take over. They never want to take over Pakistan. They want to become the partners of progress and prosperity with Pakistan. But we have to do something. We can't sit in the uh, rooms and wait for the sky to fall. No, we have to do our duty which is our part. A friend of mine said that uh, I came out and went to the bazaar and I saw a boot polish man was uh, polishing the shoes and he had a signboard that Aaj main Pakistan ke de ki khushi mein boot polish free karunga. That means that whatever he could do for Pakistan was doing on that Pakistan day. He was trying to give back of his <laughs> and we just do not deliver 
जो कि हमारी जिम्मेवारी है हम ये सोचते हैं गवर्नमेंट करेगी हम ये सोचते हैं लोकल गवर्नमेंट करेगी हम ये सोचते हैं लाहौर चैम्बर करेगा हम ये सोचते हैं कि अलमा सैदर करेगा हम ये सोचते हैं कि रमत जवेद करेगा हम ये सोचते हैं कि आसमानों से फरिश्ते उतरेंगे और वो काम करेंगे मेरा ख्याल है कि आज हमें ये तहिया करना चाहिए कि हम अपने अपने हिस्से का काम करेंगे कतरा कतरा दरियावी शब्द लाहौर चैम्बर इज ऑलवेज एट योर डिस्पोजल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द लाहौर चैम्बर इस शानदार बिल्डिंग की नींव भी मैंने रखी हुई है मेरा मेंबरशिप नंबर अनबिलीवेबल है मैं आपको बताऊं तो दो डिजिट में है अठारह तो ये मैं सिर्फ बताना चाहता हूं कि लाहौर चैम्बर पाकिस्तान की वो चैम्बर है जो कि हर काम में सबसे पहले आगे आती है आप कोई अच्छा काम करें लाहौर चैम्बर आपके साथ है और इससे अच्छा काम मैं आप सबको मुबारकबाद पेश करता हूं इससे अच्छा काम हो नहीं सकता I thank you very much and I wish and pray you good luck. Thank you. Thanks so much, Mr. Khan. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be among the great people over here and uh, our distinguished guests from China. Uh, I have been uh, uh, moving to Australia uh, thrice a year from last uh, to 2015 onwards. And uh, what I am doing is that uh, I am taking the youth of Pakistan, the selective youth of Pakistan, <coughs> with a name brand called as Pakistan Australia Cultural Entrepreneurship Program. That program I have already given the proposal to the Chinese investor as well that I want to start such thing. As you have been uh, pointing out the things that there should be uh, a cultural uh, indifference between the two countries so they can uh, get together, they can know each other, they can speak each other's language. What we are doing is that we are organizing seminars regarding Pakistan China friendship. That is done. We have been organizing seminars regarding Pakistan China CPAC. That is already done. Now we have to move forward. We have to look forward to other things, such as how to bring youth, uh, Pakistani youth, in front. So uh, getting C back in Pakistan, it's okay. It's great. It's well done. Now we have to train our youth so that they can be indulged into the C back projects. The youth of Pakistan right now is not sitting idle. They are having different kind of ideas in their mind. They are moving creative now. In the current government of the Imran Khan, uh, I believe everyone is uh, thinking of to be creative so that they can advance their business to the next level. So, considering all these things, we have to look forward to it. I think uh, whatever seminar or symposiums we are organizing, we must uh, invite the youth of Pakistan that are the cultural tourism entrepreneurs of Pakistan. They are going to lead uh, the industries. They are going to lead the businesses of the Pakistan. Whatever they are doing, it can be a manufacturer, it can be a business, it can be a catering, it can be whatever they like to. I am. Uh, I have represented Chinese in many of the businesses. Uh, uh, in environment uh, cases, um, sea cases, and uh, the kasoor in Chinese, many of the cases I have represented Chinese. I have uh, been looking Chinese that they are into each and every possible thing what we can't think of. That is creativity and what you discussed about advertising. Yes, advertising is very much necessary uh, regarding tourism also. Uh, our Prime Minister Imran Khan is also a brand ambassador of tourism. He has always been talking about the tourism. What we have to do is we have to do something creative out of the box things. Uh, it's very good that uh, Mr. Uh, under his uh, chairmanship or under the chairmanship of Lahore Chamber, we make a dedication. We go to China. We show the markets to our people but what we have to do is let's introduce let's welcome the chinese companies over here let them have a mou with the youth of pakistan with the cultural entrepreneurships youth of pakistan so that they can get boom out of it and uh, vice versa the youth of pakistan can go to china and they can look forward to different of things and in this way pakistan and china can collaborate with each other for the better future thank you so much the assalamualaikum to all guests i just like to point out certain points that there are certain points in taxation between these two countries that somehow people don't bother to look in that pakistan and china signed a convention of double taxation treaty on 15 november 1989 that means ke that a company that is taxed in China cannot be taxed in Pakistan. And these are the areas that China should take a benefit 
form this treaty rather taxing in pakistan if they have a lower rate of taxation in china they should avail this double tax taxation treaty and there are i think as said by honorable guests there are still many fields that need improvement by the help of our great friend china and that are mainly agriculture textile and labor i think china can help us to upgrade our labor upgrade our finished products and after very audition we can earn more profit and export goods in to china rather than exporting a raw material and there is a great potential that we can move things with a great reciprocity <coughs> from the both sides and friendship always stronger with this respect and give and take things so we should move rather for potential and financial matters rather than only same thing and there is a one most important thing that cost of production in china is higher as compared to the pakistan i think china should take a benefit of low cost and pakistan should get a benefit of a very good and large market thank you very much go to fbr there you go go to the cost of no there you just go to one place which they appointed as a government representative one we go service uh sir i like to uh, add one point in it that i heard from uh, one of my friend that china has opened this uh, doors for immigration uh, on, on investment net basis like usa and uk if someone is forming a company in china he can additionally get a benefit of immigration and citizen of uh, chi- uh, citizenship of china so there is added plus to have a company in china like uk or america thank you first of all chinese uh, government has flexible visa policy for their friendly countries but not for the pakistan we need the uh, invitation letter if uh, a company or person is not uh, any travel history for the china they need the ministry of foreign affairs invitation letter so it is very hard to get it but uh, for friendly country if you apply uh, some other country like uh, canada or america if they apply for the chinese business visa they will get 10 years multiple visa at very first time but for pakistani they need to apply for the visa each and every time so this need to be I mean, improved second suggestion is that uh, i think azan is here i have to pass for by second suggestion is regarding the disputes between the pakistani companies and with the chinese companies and uh, also the my friend has just questioned uh, in main all all main cities of pakistan there are the chinese consulate and in islamabad there is a embassy but unfortunately in call to the chinese embassy they will not attend for for the last few years i have tried thousands of time to call the chinese embassy and talk to some commercial attache but they are not available on the phone so this is a very big problem so you cannot contact chinese embassy by a phone and even you cannot talk to them if you go to islamabad so my suggestion is that if, if there are many, there are many people who are interested to do business in the china but they don't know how to do it so if the chinese embassy facilitate have some facilitation center in all the main cities like karachi islamabad and lahore and they told the people how to get a property register and if you have any kind of disputes so how there will be the court proceedings and how will the beijing arbitration council will help the business people to solve their business uh, problems uh, for the last 4 uh, or 5 months there is a very hard policy of the china regarding the pakistani people's banks and the transactions many people who have their bank account in the china they have closed and if their bank accounts uh, are, they need to renew they are not getting renewed so i don't know why it is happening so this is also very difficult for uh, difficulties for the people who are doing business with the chinese so i think if uh, chinese embassy open some offices 
for the Chinese business people where they can talk and express their problems. I think the business can be uh, improved very much. That's my suggestion. Uh, I think I could do Ms. Serena, Luko, Hamad, and, and Mr. Hamad from China, and our chief coordinator, Dhuman Shai, <coughs> Joint Secretary of Hot Expo Association, who arranged this trip. Also, I thank my friend Shabazz Sadiq Saab, former uh, Vice President of Hot Expo Association, our senior tax practitioner, and well known. Personality than Matulab Malik Sahib, Mr. Pastor uh, Malik Suleiman Sahib, who is a very energetic, active person, Janab Rana Sake Mulir Sahib, who is working for multinational companies, and Shabazz Sadiq is mostly working for the Chinese companies. I am very thankful to all participants 